There's nobody like you, Lord. No, 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 no one compares to you, Lord. Oh. second edition. <laughs> we are on day three today. I'm here to take the announcements. Um, we're going to be playing uh, three videos. I will ask the media to play Grace for Much More and, and then after Grace for Much More they're going to play uh, Jesus Every Day. Uh, you be blessed as you watch all those videos. Hi there, this is Sule Emmanuel, lead pastor at the Master's House. Friends, the secret of champions is in your daily routines. If you can identify what...
and take out a good offering. And then ask your neighbor, neighbor, do you have? Ask your neighbor, neighbor, do you have offering? And if they say they don't have, bless them. <laughs> Can we all uh, close our eyes and lift our offering to heaven? Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to give in your presence. Lord, bless your people as they offer unto you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor? He has never lost the battle. Come on, say it like you mean it. Say, neighbor. My God has never lost a battle. Okay, if you don't like the person's face, can you move to another person? Say, neighbor. With a smile now, can you do it? Say, neighbor. He has never. He has never. And he can never. And he will never. Lost the battle. Do you believe that? Before the battle starts, the battle is won. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
Jesus Christ now, this is what a conference is about yeah this is it this is it awakening the consciousness in you is that Dr. Simone good to see you good to see I was talking about you today you are a man of God <laughs> I, Pastor T, I was speaking about him in case I doubted it would you please come forward please thank you thank you hallelujah good evening everyone ah uh, can you look up here now? Good evening, everybody. If you were not here yesterday, can I see your hand? You were not here physically. Can I see your hand? Can I see your hand? Now, can we walk together? Now, okay, those who were here, can we walk together? You were not here, can I see your hand? Okay. Uh, guys, you were not here. Don't be afraid of the next thing I would say. You are not here. Can I see your hand up? Okay, let's walk together now. Those who are here, if you're around them, just ask them where they went yesterday. Just. Would you be kind to do? Are you afraid of them now? <laughs> Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Were you blessed yesterday? Were you blessed yesterday? Were you blessed yesterday? Can someone say thank you, Jesus? Can someone say thank you, Jesus? Yeah, you said thank you, Jesus. Can you shout it? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Such a great encounter yesterday. Such a great one. God's amongst men. There are two laws that governs everybody there is the law of sin and death and there is the law of the spirit you have to be conscious of the law that governs your life yesterday we saw information we also got and i did explain to you information is what god has done revelation is what you need to do knowing what god has done Hallelujah. Would you just lift your hands and just bless the Lord. Just love on him, everybody. Just bless the Lord tonight. Ah, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Come on now. Come on. Come on. We're talking about your father. Just love on him. Just love on him. 
I come and hug a valiant. Libra had a cavalla sudiante. Come on, just love on him. Just love on him. He allade covale coach and a manti alai. He la brada belea of sheep, brada by a teller die. Lero shut up a la bella de yate. Hallelujah. We're going to just worship God with this song together. Holy, holy, holy art you, Lord. Just listen. Holy, holy, holy art you, Lord. The elders and angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy art you, Lord. Can we do it together? Can we try? Holy, holy, holy art. Holy, holy, holy art you, Lord. The elders and angels, the elders and angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Ah, holy. Holy, holy art. Yeah, we're getting it. Can we try it one more time? Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy art. You, Lord. You are holy. Holy, holy, holy. Yes. The elders and the angels, they bow before you. The elders and angels bow. The redeemed, we worship you now. Holy, yes. Holy, holy are you, Lord. Can we lift a voice and just love on the Lord? Holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Can we just sing from the depth of our heart? He's holy. Holy, holy, holy. Echo of a Talekosh Cabrai. The elders and the angels bow. We the redeemed, we worship you. You are holy. holy, holy. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, come on, just bless the Lord. Holy, holy. You are holy. Holy, holy, holy. Hey, you are holy. The elders and the angels bow. The elders and the angels bow. The redeemed, we worship you. Oh, you are holy. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Oh, you are 
Shali Paratana Bosa, Hirapa Tevalado, Shatumana Mane, Shabadi, Via Sandy and Jasper.
chemele pa usa yate iya da balada Lord, I lay it 
Fofarachi Zeta, Emamania Mamane Kosa, Oh, no, 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 with God and returns the same. Even a virgin Mary meets with God and is empowered to carry what will make her a voice for generations. A Jacob meets with God and becomes Israel to generations. You have come before the one who makes men. You have come before the one who makes men. Just pray in the Holy Ghost where you are for a while. Come on, come on. Come on, let it out, let it out, let it out, let it out. Let it out, let it out, let it out. Let it out. Matubia Tamane Mohoshan in an eye. A lever at the Boko Shatila Tom Sevalandi. Ilibrina Manda Subria Pamba 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 Pai. A lembrina Mamba Tika Ponda Pila Pose Pila Manda Pila Pai. Ilibrina Mamma Mane Kosa Lavata. They are Kapanako. They are Payata.
us Lord in the name of Jesus father we thank you yes yes thank you thank you friends God is here now li listen I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to encourage you yes 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 God is here yes Kelly Manakova die Jama Malenga Mama Mamba Baba Bamba and Tina Nandi Illimili Mali Malane Convele Veliante Lelese Illenelentunzi and Tentelelenti Elimil and Melatons and Lembrakatimelimanandi Illabalimali Mali 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 Maleta Illabanda Baladanda Balada Baladi Malambeda Elabrika Mamba Banti Capalateta Illapando Sante Carucata Elefella Kumanandi Atandi Ata Illanabanda Balata Thank you Lord. Thank you Father. Thank you Lord. Now hear me again for those who are connected online and those who are here on site. Whatever your expectations are, hear me as I hear God. It will be granted in the service. Oh, I, see the way you're responding. Look at me. Listen, listen, please. I'm not trying to encourage you. Now, while we're worshiping, I knew when it shifted. I knew, I knew, I knew when it shifted. And as we continued, I knew when a presence walked in. And that's when he said to me, whatever the expectations are, so when I told you God is here, I was not trying to make you feel good about being in church. Yes, it's God's presence. This is his house. But there is the manifested presence of the invincible God. Again, I say to someone who needs to hear this, God is here. And whatever the mountains are, whatever the issues are, It will be taken off you today. One of the remarkable words of Jesus is found in Matthew chapter 19 verse 26. It's a powerful statement. And this statement can become the pillar upon which a person lives. This statement can become the pillar upon which you build your life. This statement can open you up to a whole new world of possibilities when your spirit becomes open to this. In Matthew 19 verse 26, but Jesus looked at them and said to them, 
With men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Now, this is the mind he wants you to have. That with God, all things are possible. Friends, we serve a God of breakthroughs. So don't let anyone deceive. We serve a God of breakthroughs. Now, when you study the ministry of Jesus, there were breakthrough things every time. Breakthrough intervention. Breakthrough provisions. Breakthrough every time. But look at this as I quickly give us this and then we just get to receive. That's a quick vision that I saw while I prayed for you. Okay. We'll talk about it later. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Now, to position yourself to activate a breakthrough, you must first believe that with God, this is possible. You must first believe that with God, this is possible. Listen, friend, there are things that cannot change with time. They change with God. You don't need time, you need God. There are things that don't heal with time, my friend. They heal with God. You don't need time. Stop hoping that time will heal the wound. Time will take care. You need God. He didn't say with time all things are possible. He said with God, time doesn't fix all things. God does. With God. God, all things are possible. You need to believe that. Believe that this thing I need is possible. This thing I lack is possible. This thing I want victory over is possible. And God wants to make it happen in this conference. Listen, God won't bring you here just to see your face. God didn't bring you here to waste your time. He brought you here to bring an upgrade. He brought you here to fix issues. He brought you here to release an anointing. He brought you here to take away everything that does not glorify him. He brought you here to increase your strength. He brought you here to increase capacity. He brought you here to introduce you to new things, new levels, new dimensions, new opportunities, new platforms. Can I get a loud amen here? Now, secondly, now, I said the first thing to activate the breakthrough. The first thing that's important. Believe, oh, if you came here to look at people, sir, you will return the same way you came. Believe that this, now listen, as our faces are unique, our needs are unique. Everybody has a need. But for some of us, we don't think this one, don't bother God. Don't, let, 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 let's try to fix it. Only with God, all things are possible. Now, while that is established, the second truth that's important for you to activate a breakthrough, to step into the pool of the supernatural at this night, to step into the pool of the miraculous, do not create a method for the move of God in your head. Don't create a method. Don't create a method to say, and maybe when the pastor start praying now, when the pa I spoke about this the first night, when the pastor start worshiping, don't create a method in your head for how God will move. Don't create a method in your head for how the breakthrough will come. In 2 Kings chapter 5, there was a man called Naaman. Naaman had a leprosy and he was brought into a space like this. He was brought into a house of visitation. He was brought before the man of God so he could get a breakthrough, so he could get a testimony. But Naaman created a method in his head. How his miracle will happen. So the man of God said to him, he said, go to this place and Naaman said, no. No, it's not possible. What is wrong with me can't be fixed like this. What I've been, this has been, no, no. It has to be something spectacular. So as I look at you, and uh, maybe you've been going through a challenge for a long time, and I say in the name of Jesus, as I'm looking at everyone here, anything that was like a mountain, it has been taken away. Okay, now somebody understands this now. And therefore I pray, okay, in the name of Jesus, everything that looked like a car, that looked like a mountain, that looked like an opposition, it is taken away. 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 It is taken away.
is taken away. It is taken away. It is taken away. Am I got the loudest amen here? That's it. You see, with what I just sense now, you are ready for a miracle. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You connected. You're ready for it. As long as you are in this space, and those who are watching online, as long as you are in this space, you are connected to this anointing and to this grace. Everything that was a cause for worry, the hand of the master is taking it away tonight in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now as I try to bring this to a close so I can pray over you and then we trust the Holy Ghost for his quick work now you see they are for the sake of tonight's delivery there are eight dimensions of breakthroughs for the sake of tonight oh, there are eight things that defines a breakthrough the first dimension of breakthrough is the supernatural opening of your eyes the supernatural this is when your spiritual eyes your mind is open supernaturally you begin to assess divine strategies divine secrets unique to your destiny unique to your journey are we together here friends you may have gone to school got a degree but there is no intellectual capacity that can compete with divine secrets there is no intellectual prowess that can compete with no, those who possess divine secrets so when your eyes are open that's a breakthrough in itself and you begin to do everything based on opened eyes and opened mind secrets governing your life and listen friends without the empowerment of the spirit you cannot see beyond what everybody is seeing without the empowerment of the Holy Ghost you, cannot, you are doing business you are in that office you are in that family without the empowerment of the Holy Ghost you can't see beyond what everyone is saying in the name of Jesus in this encounter someone's eyes is being opened in the name of Jesus someone's eyes is being opened someone's eyes is being opened if you are the person let me yet the loudest amen Number two, a breakthrough is God giving attention upon anything that is making people doubt God in your life. God giving attention, and that's what he's doing tonight, upon everything, anything that is making people doubt God. Maybe people are making ridicule of your spiritual commitment. It can be family. They look at you and say, oh, this Jesus, Jesus you have been calling. What has it brought to you? And listen to me, child of God, in this night of breakthrough, everything that has been a reference for mockery, a pointer for mockery, the hand of God is taking it away. He's doing it right now. The hand of God is turning it around. The hand of God is turning it around. The hand of God is turning it around. Come on, get a lot of amen here. Number three, the third dimension that explains breakthrough. A breakthrough is God doing something over what is causing you inconvenience. God doing something about what is causing inconvenience. It can be physical inconvenience. It can be emotional. God doing something. God doing something. God doing something about what is causing inconvenience. Maybe there's somebody here. You need a physical intervention. Another person needs a spiritual intervention. For another person, it's about emotions. You need an emotional intervention. But listen to me as I hear God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, everything that has brought you inconvenience, everything that is causing inconvenience, in this encounter tonight, God is attending to it. God is attending to it. God is attending to it. Come on, get believers, say man. Number four, the fourth dimension. I'm showing you. You, you must belong to one of them now. Uh, you must belong to one of them. That's why you can't you can't live at the same way you came. Are uh, we together now? Eko belele ya, la 
Now the fourth dimension of breakthrough. A breakthrough is God are attending to your status and making an adjustment. God attending to your status and making a positive adjustment. It can be your financial status. It can be marital status. It can be health status. A breakthrough is God attending to your status and making a positive adjustment. There is someone hearing me. I don't know what your status is presently. And in your heart, you just want something to change. You just want something to happen. You just wish a miracle will happen. For there to be a change of status. Hear me as I hear God. There is something coming on you tonight. It is dropping even now. It is leading to a change of status. It is leading to a change of status. Receive it now. 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 Can I get a loud amen? God attending to your status. From miss to missus. From no child. To something has entered from i don't have a job to pastor which one should i go for in the name of jesus god is attending to your status now i decree by the spirit of god there is an orchestration in the spirit an activation in the spirit there is a movement in the spirit god is attending to status now god is making an adjustment now god is making an adjustment now god is making an adjustment now come on catch a lot amen the fifth dimension of breakthrough is god releasing and restoring life to what looks stagnant immobile barren there are businesses that look immobile barren there are lives people look at you there is nothing that seemed to have changed since last year and you you seem to be the same every year and people are wondering what is really going on sometimes they don't have the boldness to ask you they look at the business is the same the same the same listen to me in the name of the lord over that situation life is released now 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 life is released Release now. Listen, hey, hey, what is here tonight? A strong go. You, you, you can't go back and still remain a question. You can't go back, and there's this something about your life that, that people don't want to identify with. In the name of Jesus, I decree everything wrong that has forcefully attached themselves to you. Everything unproductive that has forcefully attached themselves to you. It is cut off now. 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 Can I get a loud amen tonight? The sixth dimension of breakthrough is God doing something over anything affecting your authority. Affecting your authority, affecting your peace, affecting your voice, affecting your joy. God doing something. It can be a weakness of the flesh. You have been battling with that thing. You pray, you pray, you keep falling back. It can be a habit. Uh, it can be a struggle. You've not been able to break free from it. It can be anything. It's affecting your authority. He 
is affecting your spiritual authority in some dimensions you are weak you are weak because there is that thing you've not been able it's, it's like something given to you to limit you it's like something programmed to you to weaken you in the name of jesus we call on the god of breakthroughs we call on the one who gathered us tonight and i decree in the name of the lord anything in your life challenging your authority anything in your life working against your peace and your voice in this encounter you are delivered from it 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 can i get a loud amen tonight Someone will be asking, is this how it will just go? I've been struggling with this thing for seven years. Is this how it will just go? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't create a method for how God will move. Don't create a method for how you will break free. Again, I speak over that challenge. I speak over that struggle. Walking against your authority in the name that is above all else. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, be free now. Be free now! 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 The seventh dimension of breakthrough is God doing something to restore confidence. Doing something to your life as some of us you can't even speak to your siblings the younger ones need help they, they, they can't call you because you don't have what to give every other person is respected and honored but you breakthrough is God doing something to restore your confidence again there's someone who this is for. Maybe the person is online. Maybe the person happens to be here. But in the name of Jesus, in any way, in any form, in any matter, where your confidence needs to be restored, because you are connected to this anointing tonight, I decree by the hand of God, a movement in the spirit, an activation in the spirit, an orchestration in the spirit, your confidence is restored. Your confidence is restored. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. God doing something to restore confidence can be the manifestation of a breakthrough, financial breakthrough. It can be God putting on you what no other person has in the family. Listen, listen. To restore confidence is not just money you need. To. When grace comes on you, and you had a revelation about one of them, your siblings, and you said, I was praying, and I saw that you were planning to go somewhere on Thursday. Here's what God said I should tell you. You will go. But when you get there, there are two men you will see. One of them will tell you that there's no vacancy. Don't get angry. Go by the gate. Wait there for a while. Less than 30 minutes after, the real person will drive past. Greet them well. As you greet them, you get your job. Uh -huh. Are you sure, auntie? Are you sure, uncle? Thursday will come. True to what you said. Everything will happen. You know what God has done? He has restored confidence. Are, are we together? Confidence restored. So it's not just money. Are we together? Are we together? What number have I given you now? Hmm. I'll give you the last and then we just get to pray. A breakthrough is when the power and the mercy of God attends to whatever is opposing you. The power and the mercy. It could be something taking advantage of you. It 
could be something exploiting even your ignorance. When mercy shows up, even ignorance is silenced. Are we together? Yes, sir. Knowledge is good, though. But when mercy shows up, even what you don't know won't matter for now. It is when God has done it, by His Spirit, He will tell you, go for knowledge in that area. Are we, are we together? Yes, sir. That's what mercy does. God will fix it. God will give it to you. Now, you are on the chair. You've gotten the job you didn't qualify for. The Spirit of God start prompting you. Go for training. Call this person. Get trained. Don't stop there. The next three months, gather the salary. Get, are we together now? Mercy. Mercy. So breakthrough is when the power of God and the mercy of God attends to whatever is opposing your manifestation, your experiences, your expectation in any area. Are we together now? Is there someone who is now ready for her breakthrough? Uh, the person is not here, maybe online. Is there someone ready now for that breakthrough? Is there someone ready for that breakthrough? Is there someone ready for that breakthrough? Is there someone ready for the breakthrough? Can I get a loud amen here? I just wanted to take just this prayer. Mm. And then the Holy Ghost will begin to walk his wonders. In the name of Jesus. Are we together? Now, all I need you to just talk a lot about. Whatever is not of God. That has found a comfort space around me. As I pray, I send you out. Whatever is not of God. Uh, even if you're online, you must take this prayer. Pray with your children. Alright, there's someone who... One of your child needs a miracle. You're watching right now with that child. I just saw that now. One of your child, one of your child, the child is right with you, needs a miracle. Now it's going to happen as we pray. It's going to happen. But there's something programmed and projected against that child to make you waste money. It's a projection. You are the target. But they are using the child. So money will be wasted. Resources are squandered. Just focusing on that child. He's not of God. As we pray, I need you to pray on that child. Put your hand on the child's head. And you begin to pray for the child and for the family. And every other person here, you will pray this on the depth of your heart. Maybe the reason certain possibilities are not yet manifesting. There is something that's not of God. It has found home. Do you understand when a snake, for example, crawls into a house? And the snake will be in that house for 10 years. 10, some 15 how the snake eats. You don't what the snake is eating. Are we together? The snake is 10 years surviving. You did not invite the snake. The snake didn't tell you it's coming. But now the snake has found home. If the snake, Ayako Palisa, if the snake could speak and they say, Where is your address? It's called your address. There are sicknesses that have made your body address. They are conditioned. They've made your home address. You will send them out right now. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Whatever is not from God. That has found a comfort space in my life. As I pray. I send you out. I send you out. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Whatever is not a call that has found home and Don't, 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 don't,
that command now by the hand of God anything that is not of God that is not from God you see by the mercies of God I have learned to believe and to accept that nothing is impossible with God. It's not something I read alone in the Bible. We've seen the hand of God again and again by His mercy. I remember I mean, I haven't seen all that God has done, but one that keeps, as a ceremony, we're ministering one day, as I think I remember very well. And I did tell the people there's a creative anointing for creative miracles in the house. And I was a young man. I always say this, it looks like we are alive. But you've been around for a while, you know. I, I'm not at, I've left that level to impress with testimonies. If you don't believe, you don't believe. It's too late to be convincing. And we 
said the creative anointing was strong in the house. There's a young man who had stubborn pimples all over his face. You remember? Stubborn. I mean, the face was filled, according to him. In the service, you remember, Steve? In the service, the face got closed. I'm not saying go home and come back. In the service, the hand of God walked on the face. Everything wiped off in the service. Now, listen, please listen. Listen. Now, listen. I'm not saying this to pro program anybody or to project an individual. God forbid. I'm just letting you. If God can be that detailed, pimples. There's another lady I remember. I mean, Pastor T has a better record of testimonies because she gets to listen to them. Another lady were ministering, and God said someone had a cancerous condition that as the word was in Randberg, as the word was being preached, God would be handling and dealing with the cancer situation. As the word was being, that's when, I, when you come here, we don't joke here. If you came here to see face, that's all you go with. What we say is not literature. There is power on the wings of these words. I'm joking here. And God said the cancerous condition could be at, as the word. I, that's why I said don't create a method. For somebody, God can say as the man of God is walking past you. If you can just focus on, or if you can be praying in tongues. Now, it can be unique for individuals. So, but don't create a method. Who has ever been healed touching the hem of his garment? Nobody. Because I've never seen it all. But this is what I feel led in my spirit. If I can touch. And we said as God said it. That the cancerous condition will be handled and dealt with. Weeks after. We had a testimony of the lady going back. And the doctors were confused as to what happened. The word happened. Huh? That what, what happened? Where did you go? The word of God fixed cancer. Are we together here? Yes, sir. What is that thing you are going through? What is that thing that's making you have sleepless night? What is that thing that you've adjusted to and said, this is me? It's not you, sir. God can do all things. You know, while I was praying, it was like a trance of some sort. Quick. And I saw there were people in something that looked like a cage. It was iron casted. But they did not know they were in a cage. I mean, they didn't know they were living life. They didn't know they were in a cage. And suddenly, the gates, the entrance of the gate was open. That's when they realized. And people started coming out. Coming out. Coming out. But you see, when I was trying to adjust to that, in quick succession, I saw people now what God wants to fix here. I saw people in a large compound living their lives, doing whatever they were doing. Large compound, large, living life. And all of a sudden, it's as if their consciousness came back and they saw there was a fence around them. And a voice, I heard it, a voice thundered. Now come out. And everybody began to run. Everybody began to run. Are we together? A voice. And that's when God said to me, that's what he's fixing tonight. That's what he's fixing tonight. That's what he's fixing tonight. Can I please appeal to you if you're sitting with you, please stand. Kehi dabai. Eko bali dadai. Kumene beleheshiai. Rapiku tuatash. Kemrogodosh. Can you stretch your two hands towards me? Yes. Now there is a hand that's going to come on seven persons. Seven of you. It is God pulling you out. You did not know that you've been in a cage. And God said, this is the night. It's time to live life. It's time to be yourself. Holy Ghost, the seven persons, wherever they are. Let your hand come upon them. 
Leprekate meleto usatu miliki balatoi. Eto usata matoi. Alikru dekendo santo lopopa. Leprekate mene pula bile tomana. Iye dende tu na kaya sas sas. Rekote balika tu mana pa. Alikru atala barato. Leprekate kaya chemene pele chemene chemene chau. Let your hand, let your hand, your hand of fire, your hand of power, your hand of grace. Let it rest, let it rest, let it rest, let it rest. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's it. Yes. Yes. Upon your daughter. Upon your son. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Katimana Hadish. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. Akibila Zaya, Lekras Katiladesh. This is the day that you waited for. This is the day, this is the day. Kalibre de Beledesh, it's time to live your life. Akiborobo Shadabai, it's time to live your life. Epelemeno Kobaladesh. Ukabeleonde shai, eliminiando salamendo loyati, eliande kamelemba la belemba la beliana mai. Yes, 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 yes. A kelo usairaski ata. Lepra kada baladi manash, krada kozeli ay. Whatever part of your body you need a miracle, just put your right hand there. If there's a growth, an irregular growth around any part of your body, maybe it's been something wrong with your neck, because I see someone have like a stiffness around the part of the neck. Just put your right hand there. Listen with God, all things. Yes, just put your right hand there. Kaligras katalabai. Le mana magonja le breka belebesh. Krata bale breka debalash. For those who are watching online, whatever area you need a miracle, just put your right hand on that place. Kebala brenda kibaliko skavratesh. Akibila nam jelem brena mene mene osalam brea bai. Kebenda bale mendi antanan zevele yandoshkai. For this purpose, the Son of God was made manifest that he might destroy all the works of darkness. Father, I ask in the name of Jesus, upon your son, upon your daughter, even as they put a hand on that place by faith, I ask precious father right where they are let your hand of miracle let your hand of healing let your hand of restoration let your hand of wholeness come upon your daughter now come upon your son now in the name of jesus i decree that this condition that is not from god this pain this disease even as I call on the name of Jesus, I decree right now that this condition, this pain, it leaves your body now. It leaves your body now. This mysterious growth, it leaves your body now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I see someone by the spirit who 
on one side of the body you cannot you cannot rest on you can't lean on the bed you can't you can't lie one part of your body on the bed there's there's a condition there's something you can't lie one part even as i'm speaking right now the anointing is flowing through that part the anointing is flowing through that part I see something about the Spirit of God. It's a condition with the ear. In the name of Jesus, I decree wholeness. Wholeness, wholeness, wholeness. In the name of Jesus. What is that miracle you need? Start collecting it now. Start collecting it now. Start receiving it now. Start collecting. Start collecting. What is that? Receive it. 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 All those in the combat team, can you come? All those in the combat team, quickly, come here, come here, come here. Kabili manango velimbra na manja siga vai. Kole mele kobalanda siga vigo. Iba ba me 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 Ila lam chela menem bala menem bala meni jamana na imbra na mande kosha ina meni yana ko hefeteda elimbri na mante kuska bi na mante ko ila mbra na mane mane na makoma na zimbra na mane matunde ila mbi na ni kabira bi kabi kventesa elimbri na mane ni kolenda liona. Hallelujah. <laughs> I am a man, 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 a
New strength, new strength, new strength. Open eyes, open ears, open eyes, open ears, open eyes, open ears. New strength, new strength, new strength. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Now, for these ones, I just prayed for new strength has been activated. All I need you to do is to grow in this. That is something you didn't have to labor for. It was just imparted into you now. All I need you to do, grow in this. Grow in this. Grow in this. Akile vire si kapesh. Zimielende kuminamba ba. Iba ba, iba ba, iba ba, iba ba, iba ba. Elia lanze le vianto kumena. Elia kabashi. Ili brenga down ziela kumi. Kola si kebe atai. Elia tosh kapalatai. Eli gros kotole godonja le bregades. Yes. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Rise and return back to your seat. I am aware we've got some international, one or two of them. Wherever you are, come, come here, come here. I was supposed to pray for you tomorrow, Sunday. Let me do it now. You came from outside of the country to be in this conference. Would you please? Would, oh, you're here. Come quickly, quickly. 
Kabeli Alash, who is on the keyboard? Can you walk with me? What's going on here? Can you walk with me? Let's walk together. Atemene Manai. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one. You are great. Can you take it higher? You oh, you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Oh, there is no one. There is There is no one. There is no one else like. Oh, you. there is no one. There is no one. Oh, you are great. You the miracles. You the miracles so great. There is no one. There is no one else. Eri ata konde si alabata nemela doza. says to tell you as you return you return with a mantle to overthrow what has been going on he's sending you back like Gideon to confront and silence what has been a mountain that no one could confront as you return back here next year's conference you're coming back with a victory song you're coming back with a victory song. You're coming back with a victory song. In the name of Jesus. The victory song. As hands are laid on you, mantles are released right now. Go and conquer. Go and prevail. Go and conquer. Go and prevail. Go and conquer. Go and prevail. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus.
for everyone under the sound of the influence of my voice as you return from this encounter you return to good news as you return from this encounter just the same way it was said to Saul uh, that as you return you shall meet with helpers you shall come into provision for someone here I decree in the name of Jesus from this encounter you have come into your increase 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 everything that speaks of increase you have come into your increase everything that testifies of increase you have come into your increase we thank you for victories we thank you for victories we thank you for victories there's someone i don't know what this is about but it's like a yoke of fear you, 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 you literally live in fear. It, it, it's a spirit. It has taken over. It, it's a foul demon from hell. It has taken over you. You live in fear. And the reason you've not achieved much with life is because of fear. It has crippled you. You come up with dreams, but they are shrunk again. You come up with ideas, but you don't even move a finger because of fear. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are standing or watching, I decree right now that you are delivered now. In the name of Jesus. From this day, come into new experiences. For that person who's been laboring for years, no testimony of favor, no testimony of helpers. Listen to me in the name of Jesus. From today, come into a new experience. Come into a new experience. Come into a new experience of helpers, of helpers, of helpers. In the name of Jesus. I decree that your new day begins now your new day begins now your new chapter begins now your new season begins now can i get the loudest amen can i get the loudest amen can i get the loudest amen now give the lord a mighty mighty hand everyone Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone blessed tonight. Someone blessed tonight. It can't be everybody, but is there someone here blessed tonight? Is there someone here blessed tonight? Can you shall thank you, Jesus? Can you shall thank you, Jesus? Can you shall thank you, Jesus? Hallelujah. Now, can we take the song? You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous. You are marvelous. You are marvelous. You are marvelous. You are powerful.
Listen, listen. Now listen guys. This is how new season looks like. Yes. This is how a new chapter looks like. This is how a new level looks like. This is how victory looks like. Can I get a lot of You see on Sunday, huh? Hey, hey, we will do it on Sunday here. Are we together? So Sunday, Godwin Winnerman is here. Rafilwe Mamafa is here. And Super 
Noah is here. I tell your neighbor, and I'm here too. We will, we will, yes, we will. Huh? So, so keep the energy. Huh? Keep the, see, don't, don't go anywhere, anyhow on Saturday. Because we need it here on Sunday. Someone blessed tonight. Someone blessed tonight. Someone blessed tonight. Now can you just say thank you, Jesus? I'll give a couple of announcements, but please, we're going to have a very good time of thanking God, rejoicing, and taking testimonies on Sunday. All right, everyone who, in the course of the service tonight, don't go home and say, yeah, he's gone, he's gone. Whatever God did here, okay? I want to take that testimony on Sunday. I want to have a good time to do that because we understand how much God visited. But as someone I see by the Spirit, even while, you know, uh, prayers were made, you, 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 it was like a vision. God just... Like something just happened and your eyes were opened and you began to see things. You know, we we'll have time for that on Sunday by the grace of God. Hallelujah. And look at the person beside, in case they never knew who you are, tell them I'm a God amongst men. They look like they are doubting you. Whoever is not believing, you leave them alone. Look at somebody else, say I'm a God amongst men. I'm a God amongst men. Do they look like they believe you? Do they look like they agree with you? See, see, you are, you are welcome to. See, you see, there are people who if the energy is not right, and there are those who the energy is feeling the energy. Uh, uh, maybe I'm that person to you. So can we say together, I'm a god amongst men. I'm a god amongst men. As you return, let me appeal to you, for all those who were not able to make it yesterday and those who made it yesterday. Would you please go back to the message? Hey, please, oh, please go back to the message. Those three things that we said, uh, more than all of them, I mean, amongst all of them, the number three, that is the language of God's. That's why people will consult idols. They want to hear what he calls. Uh, if you are God amongst men, there is the language where the word of the king is. There is power. We don't suggest things, we command things. We Things. And I told you yesterday, I said, don't allow anybody reduce what you are doing to positive confession. Because that's how they make you lose power. You see all this positive confession you are making? No, sir. These are prophetic constructions. These are prophetic declarations. When we speak, doors open. When we speak, sicknesses go. Are we together? So don't let anybody make you feel weak. So say it's not by talking positive. We don't do positive here. It's meant for those who depend on hope. We understand the workings of the spirit. We know that when we speak, the power of God rests on the wings of our words. And our words will not return to us void. It prospers where it is sent. Uh, do I have a partner here? Do I have someone that believes the same thing? Can you say, I'm God amongst men? Say, I am God amongst men. A few announcements. Would you just get out your thanksgiving seat quickly? Get out your thanksgiving seat. Let's give something amazing tonight. It's the beginning of the new. Let your giving show that you have entered something new. Don't give what you gave in your old season. Don't, don't do it. Don't try it. If you don't have cash, please, if what you want to give is not, it's not cash form, get the POS guys. Do something. Are we together? Yes, sir. There's the seed of a new level. There's the seed of a new season. Now, a few announcements. I just want to give us quickly and then we'll be out of here. Are we still online, guys? I want to appreciate all those online who have been following us from day one till now. You guys are amazing. Thank you from across the nations, from Botswana, from Nigeria, from the UK, all parts you've been connected. Thank you from Zimbabwe, from Zambia. We are very aware of your connection and your faithfulness. Um, even within South Africa, from uh, Pretoria, from Limpopo, from all parts. Thank you. Thank you. God honor you. Your new season has begun in the name of Jesus Christ. And please, in case you're not yet subscribing to our YouTube channel, go to YouTube, search for it, at my master's house. Subscribe to the channel and just keep enjoying. 
is a new dimension that the Lord has brought you into. And in case you're here standing anywhere or sitting anywhere or watching online and you would love to be part of a place where you will grow in the things of God, you'll be nurtured, you'll be, um, you'll be helped to know God better. Um, amongst the very many places where God is doing great things across this nation, allow me to introduce the Master's House to you. I would recommend, you know, amongst all the many places, I told us yesterday that the Master's House, Pastor Simon, pastors the church, God is doing incredible things there. The Master's House is not the only place where God is present. I'm, I'm, I'm very aware of that. I'm not arrogant not to know that. Okay, God is doing incredible things across this nation. Besides the falsehood, pervading our nation, South Africa, and across the African continent, the, beyond the, the shenanigan and the fakes that are gracing the altars, uh, manipulating the people and just misdirecting their purpose and, and their, their focus, as it were. They are still genuine men and women of God, people who know their God, people who have not bowed their knees to bow, people who are not in ministry for materialism, people who are conscious of their callings. And that's what we are praying for this country, South Africa, that God continue to raise and empower men and women who genuinely love him, who genuinely fear him. And also, God should surround the genuine with encouragers. Are you with me? Because it's not enough to pray for true men of God. We need them to be surrounded with encouragers. Because many of those who have become fake did not start fake. Let me tell you two things that make people fake. Amongst many others, two things. Number one, that makes people fake, the praise of men. People begin to make you feel you are God. Gradually, you start feeling you are God. So Jesus is not glorified anymore. You now must be glorified. You now start competing. And before you know it, you have to do things to keep up with that image. You have to keep looking like God before the people. Even though you know that you are human. You know you are weak. You know you are feeble. That's the first thing. Because many people who go down, it is the people praising them. The people clapping for them. The people who are just, I mean, whatever they are saying is just, they know this is not of God, what they are saying. It. So this continually rises across Africa. Especially these nations of Africa. That's the first. The second that makes people fake is when they are not surrounded by encouragers. Many of you are praying for genuine pastors, but you are not genuine members. You are not real. You don't support your pastors. You don't stand by them. You believe your assignment in their life is to take and take and take. Daddy, pray for me. Daddy, bless me. Daddy, that is a human being. Are we together? But every time as you thank God for the blessing of your pastor, also interrogate yourself. Am I a blessing to him? Am I a support to him? Or am I just a liability? I'm just there to take, to take. Many times when the weight becomes so strong on God's servant, if he's not firm, he starts hearing strange voices. Before you know it, a genuine man of God starts turning manipulative because he wants to stand because he wants to survive. So please, even as you pray for this country, pray for genuine men of God, number one. Pray for God to surround them with encouragers. You see, now the master's house is beautiful. We thank God for it. There are pastors who are pastoring 10 people. 15. Genuine, you know, there are members who rather celebrate big pastors. Some of you are like that. You love where it is happening. Your pastor, 10. Pastor Simone, they are members of churches. Their pastor is, I mean, the microphone is not good. The church is still trying. They will never publicly celebrate their pastors. But big pastors, big ministers, and yet you are, they, they share the post. You share the post of big churches. You don't share the post of your own church. Are you not a fake member? Are you not a fake? If God should judge fake pastors, should he not start with you? You celebrate the one that is shining. Ah, a man of God is not. But this one, hey, this one. A few years ago, this one was nowhere. There were people who propelled him. There were people who encouraged her. Be an encourager. Am I communicating here? 
Be a support. Let the man of God think of you and say, I've got somebody in my corner. I've got this daughter. I've got this son. Be a support. Be another reason why one man of God will not be fake. When they think of you, they say, Jesus, thank you. You gave me the gift of men. Listen, and I'll be teaching that tomorrow to the leaders at the leaders' retreat. See, there's a difference between servant and sons. Many people in church that are workers, personally, they are servants. Too. They are not sons. You are workers. That's where it ends. You are not yet a son. You are not yet a daughter. There's a difference between a servant. In a house, there's the maid. And there is the son. Many people in church are maids. What else do they want? I'm cleaning the church now. I mean, you are, a, you are a servant. And there is what a servant gets. And there is what a servant cannot get. You know the interesting part? There are those in the house. They are not servants. They are not sons. You are just there. If God should judge fake pastors, do you think he should ignore you? Are we together? You see, the, the smiling faces I saw a few minutes ago, it has changed now. Yeah, it's part of the conference, so oh. It's part of the conference. As you go home, let this words play in your head. Am I truly a blessing to my man of God? Am I truly a plus to my church? Or am I just a number? We were 200 today, plus me, 201. That's all you brought. Plus one. Wherever you come from, those who are watching us online, I don't know what ministry you're part of. Celebrate your man of God. Please, I beg you. Don't assume that Dr. Sule being, you know, doing whatever, I'm more anointed than your pastor. I'm not. Oh. Are we together? Because when people see big names, they believe because this one is big. Ah, no, this one's revelation. This one's power. Please, I beg you. At your little corner, keep pushing your pastor up. Keep, let me, listen, until people say you have been bewitched, you've not started celebrating your man of God. You see what is wrong with you now? How You just carry it on your head. Listen, until they start calling you names, the thing has not entered you. We live in a generation where honor has been abused and insulted. And when you start showing honor, they say you've been brainwashed. Listen, if we are teaching you God's word, that's helping you to be better, is, is that not a good brainwashing? Let them brainwash me. As long as I'm pleasing God, as long as I'm fulfilling purpose, please brainwash me. As long as Jesus is proud of me, as long as heaven is the focus, as long as I'm advancing in the purpose and the will of God, brainwash me. You know why many of you are not yet advancing? You are too smart to be led. You are too, I don't know why I'm teaching like this now. You are too intelligent, too smart, too exposed. Say, no, 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 no. It's not me, a man of God, we use like that. Hey, stay. A day will come, you will know that there's a limit to what strength can do. There's what only grace can do. Are we together? You see, let me tell you this. Don't be fooled when people tell you, you know, um, it doesn't matter. Everybody is equal before God. Wait, let me teach you something. You know the Bible says, this is a revelation you must carry home. The Bible says, where two or three are gathered, is there in their midst. Let me teach you. No. Where two or three are gathered, there must be one who is a carrier of grace. Where two or three are gathered is not just a church. There must be a carrier of grace. Can I teach you something? Let two or three persons go into a courtroom. That place cannot become a court until a judge is present there. Are we together? Even if we gather now, we love to be, we go to the court. It doesn't become a court until a judge is present in the midst. That's the, the, the silent revelation many don't understand. So, they say don't go to church. Anywhere is church, God is here. No, sir. There has to be one court of God. There must be a teacher sent of God. Are we together? One empowered by God to lead their people. So don't assume that we are equal before God. We don't. Listen, that's the truth. God, Jesus died for us. Just the same way scripture showed us. They were all God's people. But God said, Moses, you will lead them. They can't lead themselves to their purpose. They are my people. 
It was not Moses alone that was a child of promise. All of them were children of promise. But there had to be someone that will lead them to their purpose. We must teach a generation this. So stop talking down on leadership. Stop talking down on, on, on honor. Stop talking down on spiritual authorities. Even if there are a thousand fakes, there are a few genuine. You see, one of the things I, I, I tell folks, I'm closing right now, just, just stay with me. One of the things I tell folks, and remember on Sunday I told you I can't guarantee you when we close on Friday, right? Anyway, one of the things I tell folks, if you, if you are under a fake man of God, if this man of God is fake, the problem is not the man of God. The problem is you that could not identify what is real and what is fake. Are we together? You couldn't test. Again, I say, please, pray for the churches in this land. Please, I beg you. Don't take it for granted. Don't wait for another man of God or woman of God to struggle or to fail or to be reproached or disgraced. Pray for the land. Lord, in this nation, raise up true men of God. Raise up true women of God. Surround them with encouragers. Surround them with wise counselors. Wise counselors. People who will counsel them are right. People who will love them. Who will speak the truth. People who are extension of God's voices around them. Please, I beg you. Make this a ministry we together is this making sense is this making sense awesome all right so in case this is why i talk as a pastor of the master's house you're looking for a place to be a part of to grow to be nurtured in things of god i would proudly recommend the master's house to you uh, we've got a mandate under god to make real the father's rest is the mandate the lord has given us to make real the father's rest and our vision as a ministry is to raise up people who love god and others empowered to shine God's light every day and in every way. In case you're watching online and you want to be part of a live service here, please be here on Sunday by 9 a.m. It's going to be beautiful. And in case you came for the conference, uh, it's home already now. This is your home already now. You want to be here on Sunday? Let's just grow together in the things of God. Hallelujah. Bless the night. Can you get out your Thanksgiving seat? We're closing now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get your Thanksgiving seat, everybody. Glory to God. Glory to God. If you're sitting, would you please stand? It's the last time I'll tell you to stand. Thank you. Apologies for all the standing and sitting. Apologies. I really apologize. It's not like this every time, so don't judge me yet. Okay? All right. Lift your seat above your head. Father, we honor you today. I'm talking about Thanksgiving. Thank you for this new phase. Thank you for this new level. Thank you for what you've released into our destinies. A new dawn is here. We step into this with consciousness, knowing that our new chapter has just begun. Let Jesus alone be praised. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I walk with God the Father, walk with God the Son, walk with God the Spirit, free of them joy, and I get back to you. Oh, I know they walk to me. If you know you're not walking alone, can we do the same thing? I walk with God the Father, we got the sun. Hey. And what we got the spirit. We have been joined on your back here. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Somebody a professor. Say it. What we got the sun. What we got the sun. What we got the sun. Hey. What we got the We have been joined on your back here. I decree that you go in safety. The road is declared safe for your sake. In the name of Jesus. And everything you've received from tonight's encounter, you will not lose them in Jesus' name. It will not be corrupted in Jesus' name. You are blessed today and always. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Can I get the loudest amen you can shout? Can I get the loudest amen you can shout? Can we take our declaration together? 
at the count of three don't forget to, on sunday we are back here 9 a.m there's no session tomorrow apart from the general leaders all our leaders in whatever capacity we're meeting tomorrow by 10 a is it 9 or 10 10 a.m you must be here don't come late and don't send any excuse to anybody all right you, you are aware of the leaders retreat make sure you're here from 10 a.m until about 1 30 p.m it is our empowerment for the new level for the new chapter in the name of the lord jesus can we do this together at the count of three one two three go I shine forth as God's light in my generation. I manifest the glory of God everywhere I find myself and through everything I do. Sin has no dominion over me. I win every day. I prosper in all things. I belong to the family God has given rest. I am blessed today and always. And I love my church.